Hi, I'm Teresa and welcome to my channel. Today I'm talking to you about my June TBR, all the books I want to get to this month. And this is very bizarre for me because I don't set TBRs. I, I am too much of a mood reader. I do not like being constrained by a TBR. But with it being Pride Month and there being a readathon I'm participating in, I thought I would share some of the books I definitely want to pick up and try and read this month. So this month I am participating in the Whatever You Want-a-thon or Whatever-thon hosted by Maddie from Book Browsing and I'll leave a link to her announcement video so you can find out all the details too. This is a readathon hosted all over the month of June and it's really competitive and it's team-based and I'm very very excited especially because this format of readathon works so well for me because you really can just read whatever you want and you don't have to be so constrained by prompts and it, it just all sounds very very good. I'm so excited to be participating. If you are participating too, what team are you on? I'm Camp Contemporary personally. Well, I was deciding my teams, I was like, do I go by people and like pick my friends' teams? Or do I go really competitive and get all of the points for reading contemporary books by being on con Camp Contemporary? And yeah, we've gone competitive. <laughs> I'm in it to win it. But yes, without further ado, I just want to talk to you about, I think, 18 books very, very quickly that I've picked out I want to read this month. So first up, I have some June releases that I have advanced copies of that I need to read this month. And I've actually already read the first one I'm going to talk about. So we're off to a good start. And that is Where We Go From Here by Lucas Raja, which is translated by Larissa Helena. It's originally written in Portuguese. It's set in Brazil. And this follows three young men whose lives all become in entwined in the face of HIV. We follow one perspective of someone who's just been diagnosed, someone who's just tested negative, and someone who's been living with it for three years. And we really just explore some of the kind of prejudices and how it is just living with HIV in modern Brazil. And it was very, very good. I will talk a bit more about it in my wrap up and in my review but for now it's just it was really really interesting and I enjoyed it. Next up is actually my current read and that is 1500 Miles from the Sun by Johnny Garcia and guys so good I'm in love we've got such good pining and oh it's amazing. So this follows Jules who's a teenager living in Corpus Christi Texas he is Mexican-American and part of a you know, a large Mexican-American community and through this we really explore uh, Chicano culture and just Latini in general and kind of the machismo and culture and facets of this community at the Borderlands and it is very very interesting in that regard. And so Jules gets very very drunk at a party and accidentally comes out as gay on Twitter and this isn't the greatest because there is some prejudice going on. He has been keeping himself in the closet very deliberately because he wasn't sure how people would react. So we really follow him dealing with this drunk mistake. And also when his Twitter crush slides into his DMs following this coming out, we see the beginning of this relationship as well. And it is so, so cute. I am in love. I'm really, really loving just everything about it. I'm so excited to be able to talk about it having finished it but for now know that I love it I recommend it pre-order it you've still got a few days I think by the time this video goes up so good and then next up is Ace of Spades by Frida Abike Imieri so this one is very very anticipated it is a YA thriller and it takes place in this elite boarding school and we follow two black queer main characters a boy and a girl and so when these two are threatened by an anonymous texter, we get this kind of thriller element. And I really don't know too much about the actual plot beyond the setup, which is how I want to keep it so I can be completely thrilled. But know that I am very excited. I've heard the best things. It's actually already out in the States. It came out on the 1st of June, so you can get it yourself. And I'm so, so excited. And yes, it just really tackles institutional racism and it's dark academia, it's all of that and ugh, very very pumped to be reading this one. And my final June release I really want to get to or need to get to because I have an advanced copy is Gear Breakers by Zoe Hanamakuta and 
again so excited <laughs> so this is this cyberpunk sci-fi novel it's sapphic we've got best found family we've got enemies to lovers and this is set in this world where these giant mechas are i don't know if rulings are kind of right word but they're very much this like dominant power they're like godlike and we follow this kind of like ragtag team of gear breakers who are taking them down and i am very very excited to be picking this one up i've just heard the best things and i'm very excited for the found family in particular because that's my favorite trope <laughs> and oh, i've just been following zoe for a good while on different social media and she's just the loveliest and i'm all of her promo and talking about it's got me so 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 excited can't wait to be picking it up i also have four july releases that i would also really like to get to um i'm not too fussed about getting to all of these but i would at least like to get to a few the first of these is there's magic between us by jillian maria so the author was kind enough to send me this copy and it sounds very very good we follow a city girl going to spend some time with her grandmother in the town where her mother grew up and it's rural and there's this big forest and she's been told do not go in and so she goes in and she meets a girl and she says that she's hunting for fairy treasure and these two girls will team up to look for it and we get this kind of like hints of magic in our world and that's one of my favorite setups for a book is just this slight magic this could definitely be our world like kind of setting and i love it so i'm very very excited to read this one it is sapphic and it just sounds very good very cute and i am excited <laughs> and then next up is love and other natural disasters by misa sugiura so this releases in june in the states but, it's, but not until july in the uk and it's a sapphic fake dating summer rom-com it sounds so good we've got this like love quadrangle between our four sapphic characters here messy sapphics just all the summer vibes it's fake dating and it just sounds so good this is one of my most anticipated releases because this whole dynamic between the four of them and the kind of messiness of it all really really appeals to me i do love a bit of drama so i'm very excited to be picking this one up hopefully soon hopefully in june next up is the unpopular vote by jasper sanchez so this is another one that releases i believe in june in the us and july in the uk so this is a contemporary ya novel and we follow a trans boy who gets involved in the politics of his school and also just in the real world his father's a congressman and i am just very intrigued by this concept very excited by it it has been compared to red white and royal blue for like the political aspect and i'm just very very excited it sounds so good i've also heard very good things about this one cannot wait to pick it up and then the final july release is after love by tanya byrne i am so 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 excited to finally have this in my hands this is again another ya this is paranormal and we follow a main character called ash who when she gets in a car crash and tragically dies is sent an invitation to join a group of fierce girl reapers in the afterlife and collect the souls of people from her city however she's determined to spend more time with her uh, girlfriend who she was with when she was alive and she will do whatever it takes and i'm so excited i've heard so many good things i've had a friend read and adore it so i'm just so excited to finally be picking it up <laughs> It just sounds so damn good cannot wait <laughs> and then next up i am hoping i can finally finish my kelly quindlen reading vlog where i read all three of her books i started it in april when i read she drives me crazy before it released and I haven't had a chance to read the other two so hopefully i will finally finish it this month so that involves reading late to the party and this is a YA contemporary and we follow a lesbian main character she's a bit of an outsider a wallflower but when she goes to a high school party and runs into the popular boy in her school kissing another boy and discovers he's gay he kind of takes her under his wing into the summer of love and romance and 
friendship and all this good things and I just hear it's got like the best gay lesbian solidarity and what more could I want? I'm very very excited to read this one finally I've been really really looking forward to it for a while I will also hopefully be reading Her Name in the Sky by Kelly Quindlin and I can honestly say I do not know much about the plot of this one beyond like Catholic school I believe Sapphix will make me cry that's all I know going in and I'm I'm happy enough with that I'm just very ready to be emotionally ruined by this book as a lot of my friends seem to be but yeah look out for that vlog if you want to see me cry I I cannot guarantee it but I think it's likely <laughs> Next up we have got the Heartstopper books. I want to read, I want to reread all of these three and then read the new one which I still need to purchase and I'm very excited for this reread. I love Heartstopper, it's so 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 sweet, such a comfort read. Yes I am reading all four of these so I can get the comfort read points in the whatever-thon. Sue me. And I'm just so excited and I think that these are also great for a readathon just because they are such quick reads because well I've set my goal as 12 books and I'm talking about 18 here but considering four of them are graphic novels I think it should be doable that I can get to all of these but yes um if you don't already know Heartstopper is a graphic novel by Alice Oseman so we follow a main character called Charlie who's gay and goes to an all boys boarding school and he's not always having the best time of it but when he meets and he befriends and begins a relationship with Nick. Things start looking up and it's all just very very sweet and wholesome and you've got a lovely friend group and so many queer characters and you've got the show coming out soon. I'm very excited about that, can't wait. And just as a warning, it the first two are very nice and light and fluffy and light-hearted. Third one's like midly, it's setting up for the fourth one which does get heavier in terms of the content so please be aware of that if you are thinking of picking it up particularly if you're sensitive to problems with eating disorders but yes I am very 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 excited to read these well reread these <laughs> and I do love them so much and finally read the fourth book as well I just love them next up is Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers I am finally going to read it. I've been saying that I was saving it for once I had caught up on my arcs and well I will be catching up on my arcs and I will be picking this one up and I am beyond pumped. This is a new adult kind of coming of age novel and we follow a main character called Grace who is who has gone to Vegas to celebrate getting her PhD and accidentally gets drunk and marries a complete stranger and when life gets tough she moves to New York to spend the summer with her new wife and ends up just falling in love and having a sweet time and I am very 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 excited to read this everyone seems to love it so many of my friends so many people whose reviews I trust and I'm just excited to love it for myself and also have my heart like stepped on a little bit <laughs> broken a little bit I have some feelings that it is going to give me some feelings and I'm just very excited to finally read it and then next up is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo and I am also very very excited to be picking this one up finally and I think with it being written in verse it's very good for a readathon or I will hopefully be able to read it quite quickly but I've been meaning to read from this author so I'm very very excited. This is a kind of dual perspective novel and we follow two girls who share a father but completely different lives and kind of have to confront some things and just kind of learn what it means to be family and all of that following his death and I'm very very excited one of our characters is Sapphic as well and I've just heard the greatest things I am so beyond excited to finally pick this one up finally pick this author up very 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 excited <laughs> and next up is Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo and this one's mostly because it's been a minute since I read King of Scars the first book in this duology and I don't want to leave it too much longer because I will forget everything that happened and also I'm still a bit hyped because of the show so I want to keep that momentum but you know it's queer so it's still part of my pride TBR uh, one of our perspective characters Nina is bi 
and does she have a female love interest in this because like i think it was hinting at that in king of scars but yes i want to read this because i've seen no spoilers yet and i'm very impressed that i've not seen them so we're gonna make sure i don't see any before i read it so yes as i've said this is a sequel to king of scars it's the kind of third series set within the grisha verse it follows some characters i love and I think King of Scars might have been one of my favourite Grisha verse books so I'm very excited to kind of wrap it all up with this one I think it's gonna be fun and then finally we have got Loveless by Alice Oseman this is another queer book another YA contemporary so this follows Georgia who's just beginning her first year of university and kind of coming into and accepting her arrow ace identity and I have just heard so many amazing things about this one and just the friendships as well and oh, it sounds so 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 good and i'm so excited to finally hopefully be picking it up this month i'm just very 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 excited and also to read another alice oseman prose novel so this is the same author as heartstopper but i've only read one prose novel by her just by owning all of them and i'm just excited to read more from her and yes, that has been the books I hope to read for Pride Month and for the Whateverthon. And hopefully I can get through them all. 18 seems very ambitious for me, but I have high hopes. The power of gay will just get me through this month and get me reading all the greatest queer books, hopefully. As always, I'll have links to all of these books down in the description if you want to pick any of them up yourself or know more about them and I also have links to my social media and my bookshop affiliate if you fancy supporting me or following me elsewhere and yes thank you very very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed have a happy pride month and I will see you in another video soon